So I want to show you how to use Descript to make videos that are faceless for podcasts. What's happening? Panda Nation, Peter Ron Panda here. I'm sitting in front of my computer and I'm actually making a video for my boy Jericho here who has seen me now post a couple of videos with my podcast episodes, but sometimes I'm not sitting in front of my camera or I'm not looking so hot like right now. It's just what you get, dude. And I still want to record a podcast episode or sometimes I've got a bunch of other things going on and I've got a couple minutes to speak into the microphone. And what I've done here is I have actually used Descript to create a visual that matches the audio so that I can post it to YouTube. And I actually think it's helpful for people, especially for people that might turn down the volume of the computer or be in a workplace or something like that. So what I wanted to do was use some of the stock features that come in Descript, like transcription, as well as the audiogram and create a more lively video than just having a stock logo page. So I want to show you how I do that. And maybe you can do it not only for podcasts, but for video greetings or instructional videos or whatever. It's just one of the many features that are in Descript that I really love. And one of the reasons that I go to this program so often for so many videos. So let me show you exactly how I create the episode using Descript entirely for the process from front to back. All right, so here is the Descript website here, and you can actually take a look at this program. It's a program that runs locally on your computer, but what they have actually done here now is they have created a web-based version too. So if you don't have the ability to download this program, you can also run it off their website, which I've been doing, and is actually pretty phenomenal as well. So you can sign up here. There are a few different pricing levels. I actually started on the free. You can see here, it doesn't give you a lot of time, but one hour a month. If you're making a five minute video, you don't need a lot of time, but you can go up here to 10 hours a month and the creator or the pro, even the pro $24 a month is not that expensive. If you're going to make a ton of videos, then it's probably not going to be right for you. Like I said, you're going to have the watermarks and the video export yeah, filler word removal Oz and ums on the free and creator level and on the pro level, which is what I'm using 18 other filler words, which are likes, you knows, what's ups or whatever. There's just a bunch of other stuff. So what I want to go ahead and do now is open up the Descript application. This is what it looks like. It's pretty simple here. And the first thing you'll do is go up here to new project. And what you can see is that I could actually turn on my camera and record and I could type out stuff here. And let's just call this episode and you can type in your title here. This might get a little meta. I'm not sure exactly what it will record when I'm recording into an application and recording the screen at the same time. So I may lose a piece of this for you or may film something on my phone here and splice that in. But I'm going to title this episode, Why I'm Sick of the Airless Tire. You may be familiar with what that is. Now, what's interesting here is I can actually do a couple things. I can start writing something. I can import a video here, which will then transcribe and then it'll create the video here, show me that, and I can edit it there. But what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to just start recording. So what you can see here is that it's found my HyperX quadcast microphone and I can record into the script. I'll record only the audio. I could set it up to be the camera or a screen. That's very similar to something like Loom but I'm just gonna record the audio here. We're gonna create the accompanying video using the Descript tools here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go ahead and hit record into script and show you what that's like. I'll give you a little sneak peek of that. And then I will show you how I create and edit everything on the back end here. All right, so I will show you how I kind of start this. I'm not gonna show you the whole recording because then you wouldn't wanna watch the podcast episode. But if I just go ahead and hit record into script, obviously I've got my microphone on. You can see the little level there showing that it is picking up my audio. But if I go ahead and hit record into script, it gives me a countdown. Three, two, one. And then I can just start recording into my microphone right here. So I will go ahead and record the entire podcast episode and then show you the editing. I have gone ahead and I have recorded my whole episode here. And what is really awesome is that as soon as I hit stop, basically it has transcribed my whole video. Now I will say the transcription might be a little rough. And one of the things that I noticed here, and you should notice at the beginning is I started recording this to see what it would do. It's not the way I would have done in real life, right? I would have started with what's happening, but I recorded this piece up here. 
But the beautiful thing about it is, because this isn't really part of the podcast, I can just highlight it and hit backspace and delete it. So I can delete that. Now, what I want to show you here is right down here, it says what's happening. And I know it says what's happening, Panda Nation. And I can go right here and I can play it. And you can probably hear it. What's happening, Panda Nation? Okay. But it says Panza Nation. And so I can actually go ahead and correct that. And that's probably not going to be a big deal if you are just going to export the audio because the audio is just whatever you recorded. But what I want to do here is I wanted to correct that because like I said, I want to fill in this blank spot here with an accompanying visual. Now, interesting, it never gets this right, but maybe I've corrected it enough that it's getting it right now, but it usually says Peter Don Panda. And now I notice it says Peter Von Panda, but there are a number of places where it's probably going to be wrong. I'm not going to sweat those too much. You can go around and find like some places that maybe it didn't get it right, but I'll tell you what, Descript is actually pretty good at transcribing correctly. Okay. So a couple things that I want to show you here on the Descript side, the couple features in this pro version, which I really love is going up here to this little star. And now I can shorten word gap. So there were times when I was thinking, what was the name of that? And I've got some dead air and I have changed it. These are usually one second, but I reduce them to shortening up these word gaps to half a second. And it's found 48 word gaps and they can be 0.6 seconds. All right. So there's a gap down here. But they don't have to be super long, but if it's a 10 second gap, it's going to really shorten that up. But now I can just go ahead and apply to all. And now I have gotten rid of those gaps. The second thing I want to do is go up here and remove filler words. So it's also found me using Oz ums. And because I'm on the pro, it will find other things like, you know, or right, kinda. Actually, I might want that one. And it's that air that holds that rubber out, dampens the ride for you. So actually, I kinda want this kind of right here. So I'm going to go ahead and let it take out all my filler words, but I know that I kind of want that uh, dampening one back. So I'm going to find that here. I'm just going to highlight that and then restore removed media because that kind of isn't like a filler word so much. I'm saying it kind of dampens. Rubber out. It's a ride for it. All right, perfect. Now what I also want to do here is I'm going to go over here to the audio because I want to turn on studio sound. Even though I am recording this with my studio microphone, because I'm in my office, I get a little reverb off the walls. It's not like soundproofed. I don't have the sound deadening. So what this does is it just does whatever it does, reduces a little bit of that echo, the trouble or whatever, adds a little bit. The other thing is I noticed here, sometimes I just want it to go up in audio. So I'm going to slide up that audio slider there. All right. That's pretty much it for the editing piece. I'm going to add in my theme song at the very end here, like here. Okay. That's a wrap for today, Peter. My panda out. Nope, that's not right. Again, I'm not going to sweat these too much, but where I see an obvious correction, I will go ahead and correct it so that it's right. And so I'm going to go ahead and put my theme song at the end here, and that's the video outro. So we'll have not only the song, but it'll have that video. But up here, what I want to do is I want to add in now the caption. So I'm going to go up here to this little templates. I'm going to go down here to audiograms. You can do all sorts of different things here, multicam captions. But first thing I want to do is an audiogram and I'm going to use, you can do a few of these and I have been experimenting around with some of these. I use this dark one. I actually like that. I think it's a little easier on the eyes and you can pick this one. I have not used this one yet and you can use this one with pictures, especially if you have a couple of people that might be cool. So I'm actually going to use this one just because I'm curious about what that looks like. And now you can see what that looks like. You can also change the orientation landscape square because it's going up in YouTube. I'm going to keep it landscape. Now this always takes the title here. What I want to do on this is I actually want to just change this to be the title of the podcast. So it's going to be the Peter Panda podcast. I don't need this descript logo. So if I go down here, it'll show me all the tracks and it's got the descript logo on there. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. And then you can scrub ahead a little bit here to see what it is showing. Now, because this one's a little different, because this audiogram I have not used before, I think it just is a splotch in the middle and it's showing less words, but I will just hit play and show you what it's showing. Introduced to the cop. The yeah. airless tire, or something I've seen it referred to as Tweetle, T-W-L. Okay, so that's kind of cool. And I'm just going to correct that too, because there should be two E's there. Tweetle, just like that. And 
Now, I think I'm pretty much ready. You can scrub ahead here and see it, but man, that looks pretty good. And that's it. And from here, I can just go to File, Composition, Export, and I can export this as a video. I can export it as an audio MP3 for the actual podcast feed on Anchor or iTunes. But once I get this here, Export, I can just hit Save when well, I'm sick of the airless tire. And now it'll take a little while. It's taking all these disparate pieces, all those splices that it's made, and combining them into one exportable file. But that is really it. Now I'll upload that file to YouTube and everything I needed to create not only just a podcast episode, record it, right, when I don't need to be on camera or I can't be on camera or it's not optimal to be on camera, but with the ability to leverage the video side of it, to have some sort of accompanying piece to it, to have the transcription show for people who might benefit from seeing that. Maybe they've got the volume turned down low. Maybe they are hard of hearing. Maybe you want to read it instead of listen to it, period. It's just there. With the audiogram being a little bit more dynamic than just the transcription itself. So I really love Descript. It's not just this, but it's a tool that I'm using a little bit more for the podcast side of the world now. So if you want to pick up Descript for these purposes in particular, then I would highly recommend it. But great for just video editing as well. Not the only tool I use, but certainly one of my go to tools just because it is so user friendly and yet so powerful. So that being said, if you want to pick it up, I will put a link and I'm trying to get an affiliate link for everyone to Descript in the description below so that you can get started with it right away. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.